The song is legendary, bro. You are definitely a unique individual. I'm so happy for your success. I wanted you to be a part of this thing. And on this station, you represent the Twin Cities. Yeah. The originality, the creativity here, the artists here. Thank you, you man. Epitomize that. And you and and just uh, just to be clear, you know, to to put it out there, like you definitely helped this whole ride happen for me. This guy over here, Zeke, helped me. And um, and like I wouldn't be here if if uh, if I didn't, you know, take risks too. So I want yeah. you know, just everybody out there, just take a risk. Like really, really focus on something this year. That's what I'm. That's what kind of my message just overall this year is like. It's great to do a lot of things. It's great to be ultra proactive but there's nothing like really really working hard at something and mm -hmm. i'm talking about putting your phone on airplane mode i'm talking about not going out seven days a week i'm talking yeah. about really focusing and working hard because that feels the best like i've had i've felt success dude i felt it it's great i've made my whole life work up to this point right yes yes but i don't feel like i've worked hard that's the thing right i feel like i've had a lot of fun and just having Fun. That's what the station's been like. Last week I was over here seventy hours. Yes, and I was like, "Yo, I, I, what are we? We're doing what we love. We're connecting with people that were, are excited to listen and be here." It's there's only there's that that feeling can only be felt by actually like it doesn't. Someone can't say you worked hard and you feel it, right? You have to be like, "I worked so hard." You have to feel it. I worked so hard. I deserve I everything that's coming. And so, so I just feel like I've got definitely. Built up to this this uh, this point in my career, where it's like, you know, you and, and for me, it's make it. It's not make it and break or break it or whatever, because I'm not gonna fail. But for me right now, like I'm putting myself in the position to be like, dude, you gotta outdo yourself right now. You really, really have to do something special, you know. And I so, think you got it in you, man. I I do got it in me, man. But I gotta work. I gotta work. And 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 I'm so proud of all these other. Look what's happened it, for hip hop and it's music in the, in the Twin Raps, Cities. I Corbin, know Bobby oh and God. Allen oh and all goodness. these kids are Amazing. nonstop, nonstop. Uh, uh, you know, and then like you know, the, you've got one generation of of, of brother Ali's and atmospheres. I'm saying. Then I'm they got saying. a guy like you yep. who came in, but now there's another. I know. Well, another. Wave. I know. I'm telling you because I what what always stuck with me coming up here is that obviously the generation that you were talking about first, the brother Ali's. POS, yes. atmosphere, yes. idea and abilities, rather. Yeah. Um, those people like built something great, right? Mm -hmm. And they have this legacy that they can do sound set and do all this stuff, right? But they weren't, it's, it's obvious. They're not trying to go and be like, I want everyone in the world to love us. Like they made a cult, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And it's consistent and it's strong and they know how to keep it going without being like, overbearing you know what mm -hmm, i'm saying mm -hmm. then there was like my area right where i was like making it important like i'm not just trying to do good in minnesota i'm not like i would go and play shows in san francisco right to a bunch of people come right. back here and play to five right mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and so i feel like what i did in that area of being like because there was the the music scene here was like dude you got to play a show every week out here yeah, you got to connect yeah, with all these yeah, artists here yeah. and i was over here Going, I'm gonna go on tour with a rock band well, or something. That's how you and, started with the rock bands yes, and the indie stuff. And, and go you knew around. about the tour schedule. You knew about the merch. Yeah. You knew the value of being on the road. So then I think that section happened where it was like, okay, because I sold out First Avenue last year on my birthday, right? Come on, bro. That was what I Come always on, wanted to do. Always Crazy. wanted to do. It was like, I mean, I've been, dude, I played shows at the Ascot Room at the Quest when I was 14 years old. Like, I've been playing yeah, shows man. here, okay? Yeah, man. I always wanted to sell out the First Avenue. Did it. And I feel like that, and all my boys there, Bobby Raps was there, Alan, Corbin, all of them are there. And I feel like that was like a great thing because this was, again, March 10th of last year, right? So Corbin was doing really great, and they're all really coming up. But I feel like it had like a, a wonderful sentiment like, dude, like Minnesota can take over the world. Like 100%. literally, there's something special here in the sound. I don't know if my sound really defines Minneapolis or, or Minnesota. No, it's you. You're a unique guy. But it's, 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 yes. you, this is this is coming from your soul. This yes. is who you are yes. and your expression. I feel like I'm definitely very, you know, been out there, but I feel like this the things that people are onto here right now are defining a sound. Like people are not like looking at this like, whoa, this feels good. This is you know, this is reminiscent of something classic. Like, they're like, this is brand new. I've never heard anything like this. I think before. one of the dopest things is what Atmosphere and Brother Ali's and Rhyme Sayers did was let the world know that quality hip-hop has a home here in the Twin Cities. And, and people started to recognize Minneapolis, quality hip-hop. How did so they do that? Even? It, it's, like, it's like Compton. You think, well, who come? 
Kendrick I know. Lamar, The Game, NWA. So you hear when you think Compton, you think gangster rap. Yeah. So when you think of Minnesota, you think of quality. Real Literally, I picture someone walking through the snow with headphones on, listening to like really good rap music. Like that's, that's what, what I picture. <laughs> and that's and, what and I picture. Why, when I go back east, right? This is crazy. So I'll go back east and I'll talk to people, and they'll be like, "Are oh, you lived in Minnesota? Have you ever been to Hennepin Avenue? <laughs> <laughs> like, it, yo, like it's Compton, and Lake Street. I know. I and the they're same like, yo, thing. they're, they're like, dude, that, like we've created brands that are synonymous with quality and almost like a mythological thing of these neighborhoods where this music was cultivated and it's a worldwide thing now i know it's really it's special blessing, man. man it's, it's a beautiful really special thing. it's fun it's fun to uh to see it all just like keep going and like you said the generation thing man it's cool there there really is something special in minnesota because yeah. it's not just hot for a minute it's like you know, people want to know. We people got really want to know. Generations, the new wave is popping. Mod Sun is here. Yeah, and boy, congratulations. Playing arenas this year, baby. Come on, baby. Woo! We here. Mod Sun. It's Go 953, the Modern Hip Hop Channel. This is what we do. Okay, follow him on social media. Thank what? you for having me, man. This At is, Mod this Sun? is special. Yeah, just M O D S U N. Stands for Movement on Dreams. Stand under none. Yeah, he got it. This kid's going somewhere. Yeah, I'll I'm going. It. I'm going, man. I'm gonna make it, Peter. I'm gonna do it. Okay. <laughs>